Hey, what's up, everybody? Faye here, and welcome back to a new video. Today, we're going to episode 33 of Pokemon Scarlet. Let's get into it. In this episode, if I remember correctly, I think I'll be finishing up another class for the uh, Naranja Academy. And then, once I'm done with that, it'll be the final class of the episode. That is correct. The only class I have left to take is Home and then I'll be done with the school. Other than the bozos as you, the bozo characters as you walking around and stuff. You know? Hi, home. Nice uh, mimic you, home. I was waiting a second so that I could get to a minute. I already well past a minute. Alright, let's get started with Homac 1. Just a square of How would it go? I see we have some energetic young ones in our class this time around. You may call me Mr. Saguaro. Time here with me will be spent obtaining knowledge and skills indispensable for daily life. Many of you have left the care of your parents to live here on your own in the academy dormitory. I pray that the knowledge I impart to you will improve the quality of your lives and the necessities thereof food, clothing, and shelter. Of those three categories, I assume the most Pressing and interesting for you all, for you all is food. When you eat sandwiches on your picnics, the HP of your po party Pokemon will be restored. You will also gain something called Meal Power, which you can provide all ma ma manner of benefit. For example, these powers can make Pokemon easier to catch or increase the XP points your Pokemon receive, that your Pokemon receives. I think you will also find the breadth, the breadth, what, of these sand effects can be expanded by crafting sandwiches of superb flavor. What's more, there is a certain something that is particularly important if we wish to receive meal power and even more helpful effect. Let me see, Master Fate, tell me, what must you keep in mind to receive more helpful meal power? Perfectly correct, Master Fate. Perhaps you were already aware of this fact from having helped your family with cooking at home? Your choice of ingredients, including both fillings and condiments, is an important factor in gaining even more helpful meal powers. For example, using sweet ingredients in your sandwiches may help you gain egg power. Including numerous bitter ingredients, on the other hand, can give you item drop power. Learning to aim for specific effects when crafting sandwiches will most certainly make your culinary endeavors more enjoyable. Please be aware, however, that you can also receive meal powers by eating your restaurant. I must say that I would feel the utmost joy if you all learned much here in my class and came to better and better understand home economics. Our time together has come to an end for today. I bid you all farewell. Alright, I feel like I can have a good time with this guy. He doesn't have any goofy ass like ass phrase or anything stupid like that that he says. Not to mention he's kinda built. He's kinda kinda built like he could. He could probably bench press all the students in that class. And have no problem. said put away your phones as I'm looking at my phone IRL, that's funny. Put away your phones, it is time to begin class. 
In our last class, I believe we talked about the effect you can get from food on your picnics. You can receive meal powers and even restore HP for all the Pokemon in your party. It is a truly convenient means of healing your Pokemon. That's great! Unfortunately, as I'm sure you are aware, it is not suited for use in battle. When you cannot make food, or when you wish to restore HP quickly, in times such as those, you should make use of healing items such as potions, which you can purchase from Pokemon or the school store. Healing items are immediately effective and can be used any time that you can open your bag. They are, however, consumed after one use. Potions restore 20 HP, Super Potions restore 60 HP, and Hyper Potions restore 120 HP. The, price, the pricier the item, the more HP it will restore. Keep in mind how much money you have when you are stocking up on these items. However, unforeseen happenings are an inextricable part of traveling from place to place. Imagine if you will. Imagine, if you will, the following scenario. You find yourself with injured Pokemon, but you have no potions, you are out of sandwich ingredients, and there are no Pokemon centers nearby. Tell me, Master Fate, what should you search for when in a perilous situation with no way to kill your Pokemon? Uh, items on the ground? Perfectly correct, Master Fate. See, you are well learned in survival techniques. Yeah, I've been out there on... on been out there in the mud for a while. If you are something if you see something shiny on the ground, it is actually an item that has been dropped there. You may be able to find a res restorative item such as an orange berry or a potion in this place. You can use the R button to send out your Pokemon to pick up such items as well. And there and there are and then there are berries in the Berries by the way aren't like items from shops. If you let your Pokemon hold one, it will decide on its own when to eat the berry during battle. Letting your Pokemon decide at this timing for yourself can be quite interesting. At any rate, I find you, I, if you find yourself in need of healing, I suggest that you look around for shining items on the ground. If you can't find such items, there are other methods you can employ for healing your... Ah, but I see the bell that made that top of weight. Our time together has come to an end for today. I bid you all farewell. Alright. Correct, Master Fate. Perhaps you know this from first-hand experience? You're damn right, homie! When a Pokemon runs out of PP, it can no longer use its move. As someone who's been playing Pokemon games for like almost 10 years, I know a thing about that. However, each move has its own store of PP, so you can might What? Mitigate? PP loss by using a variety of moves rather than just one move repeatedly? When Pokemon loses all PP for all of its moves, it will only be able to use Struggle, an action that also damages the Pokemon that uses it. In order to avoid this predicament, PP can be restored at Pokemon centers along with HP. Items such as Ethers and Max Ethers can also be used to restore PP. Be careful not to confuse potions with Ethers in the heat of battle. However, Ethers are not sold at shops, so you should use them judiciously. 
If you find them, the stronger the move, the lower its maximum PP. Do not waste the use of these moves unless you wish to quickly run out of PP. It is important to find balance in a Pokemon set of moves. As you can see, HP isn't the only thing you must keep an eye on while adventuring with Pokemon. I hope that you all take care to ensure that your po partner Pokemon can perform at their best as you engage in the treasure hunt. Our time together has come to an end for today. The next meeting will be an examination day. Be sure to review well in preparation. Time has come to test how well you all have learned here in my class. Let's begin before the information simmering in your brains from the last minute cram session phase. Which is not an effect of a particular. Uh, increasing speed. Which of the following affects the kinds of meal powers received from a particular meal? Which of these bears can restore a Pokemon's HP? Foreign bear. Leandro wanted his Pokemon to decide on its own when to use its item in battle, so he gives it an orbit. This will work as he hopes. True. If a move runs out of PP, it can no longer be used. If a Pokemon runs out of PP for all its moves, it can only sit there in frustration. False. Time for answering questions has come to an end. Please stop writing. I hope you were all able to give the examination everything you had. Please remember to ask for your scores at the front desk before leaving for the day. <sighs> Let's see how I did on the midterm exam. Feels great to get a test out of the way, doesn't it? Let's take a look at your results. You must get three questions correct to pass the midterms and four questions correct to pass the finals. Let's see how you did on your home economics test. You answered five out of five questions correctly. <coughs> That's a passing score. Congratulations. Mr. Saguaro asked us to give this reward to any students who passed the exam. Oh yeah, you are no spot. Keep doing your best. You are no man. Starting the second semester of home economics, <laughs> the final class in this academy that I have to finish, which I will finish in this video that you guys are seeing now. Once the class, once this class is complete and I pass the finals, I have no more classes to take in the academy, and I will be finished with school. Put away your phones; it is time to begin class. Though some of you had to retake the midterm exam multiple times, I'm glad to say that the majority of the class passed without issue. 
I feel honored to see that the knowledge and skills indispensable for daily life have not taken root have taken root knowledge. I trust that you will all work just as hard on your life skills in the second half of our course as well. Let us now turn our attention to the topic of the day, which was inspired by a question I received on the subject of meal powers. The student who asked this question is a young man who enjoys the culinary arts. He tells me that he regularly searches culinary techniques on his own and pays careful attention. I'm gonna guess that this is Arvin. To the ingredients he also spends day and night studying all aspects of the culinary art. Yet, despite this, he is baffled by its inability to increase the effect of his own meal power. So tell me, Master Fate, since you did quite well on the midterm exam, you know, what should our. Yep, I knew it was something Arvin. This young man do to increase the effectiveness of his meal power. Are then? <laughs> Make food more often? Culinary arts are not so easily grasped. Sim simply engaging in them more often will not necessarily reward you with success. What is the other people? To increase the effectiveness of meal powers, your sandwiches must be filled with many different ingredients. For a single person, this may prove difficult. But if you prepare a sandwich with others, you will be able to handle a larger serving of bread. With a larger base to start with, it becomes quite simple to add more ingredients to your sandwich, which in turn makes it possible to receive meal powers and increased effectiveness. This applies more broadly as well when dealing with a difficult issue. Working with others to solve that issue may be the best course of action. I am sure that Arthur will likewise work with friends to craft his sandwiches in the future. Fuck his face is making. Him. The identity of the male student is a matter of privacy, so I ask that you do not cry too deeply. Our time together has come to an end for today. I bid you all farewell. Of course, Arvin was sitting right in front of me. And I knew it was Arvin, too. Alright. Let's get started with Home Economics 5. The class second class of the second semester. Let's do this. After this, I just got one more class to take, and then the final. Put away your phones. It is time to begin class. While you're out performing field work with one of your Pokemon walking alongside you, have you ever noticed changes in its coloration? No, I don't. Now, I don't mean that it suddenly becomes a shiny Pokemon or any nonsense like that. I'm speaking of it becoming filthy. Pokemon Battle. They get hurt by moves used against them. They get battered by wind and rain. They get covered in sand and mud. They get, in a word, filthy. I have seen many a trainer walking about with their adorable little Pokemon without addressing this issue. It is deplorable. Let me ask this question of someone who I am sure would not tolerate such shameful conduct. Ah uh, yes, Master Fate. What should you do if your Pokemon is dirty? Uh, clean it up? Perfectly correct, I knew I could count on you to provide me with such an answer. When your Pokemon are dirty, clean them. This is, of course, simply common sense. Hmm. While you are having a picnic, you can approach a Pokemon on your team and perform a variety of actions. One such action is putting them through what I like to call the Pokemon Wash in the door. You are able to clean them up. You start by getting your sponge lathered up with soapy bubbles as you can, as you gently and carefully scrub your Pokemon. Once your Pokemon is nice and covered in soapy bubbles, the bubbles will encapsulate the soap. Then you simply wash it away with a spray of water. What if it's a fire type? or any type that's weak to water. This will get your Pokemon clean and shining as bright as a Terra Jewel. It is certainly quite a bit of work, but this will also restore HP to your status condition. Oh yeah, it's like the, uh, it's kind of like that 
Pokemon and me shit from Pokemon X and Y. <sighs> what did you like? Basically, had to take care of the Pokemon. You played with it, you cleaned it up, you uh, fed the guy, everything. That was the way to get his. That was like the only way to get his friendship up and shit back then. However, some Pokemon may not may have parts of their bodies that they don't want scrubbed or that they would rather not get wet. Be sure to keep this in mind when cleaning your Pokemon. Now, the most important point that I must mention is that some Pokemon like to be dirty. Though I will contradict myself by saying this, please do remember that cleaning your Pokemon is, always, is not always a kind thing to do. Our time together has come to an end for today. I bid you all farewell. Alright, that is Home Act 5 complete. One more class and then the final. that started right now. Oh yeah. Get through with it and then we'll be put away your phones. It is time to begin our class, our last class together. Home economics is the study of life's necessities, but looking back on our time together, I realized that I focused almost entirely on food. I hope it is not too late to shift to a discussion of clothing, of another necessity in our last class. As I'm sure you are aware, our academy has an air of freedom about it. We provide uniforms for each season to accommodate the diverse, diverse climate of Paldea. However, students are free to wear whichever style they wish whenever they please. You should all have received four sets of tops and bottoms, one each for spring, summer, fall, and winter, when the academy accepted you. If by chance you were not aware of this, you may wish to pursue your wardrobe. What? As long as you wear our school uniform, the rest of your ensemble need not be school issues. This includes your bag or your hat. If you choose to wear one, you are even free to style your hair however you wish. Mr. Salvatore's hairstyle, for example, would almost certainly have been against school rules if when I was a boy. That reminds me. There's one more thing you all like to decorate, which I must say I find quite charming. Our Rotom phone? Perfectly correct. That's the adorable little thing I was speaking of. Oh, it interests me too. I must admit that I am fascinated by Rotom phones and how to customize them. What? What's that? How very intriguing. There's a shop called Delibird Present. Where you can purchase cases for your Rotom phone. I'm actually going to buy that at some point. I thank you for that useful bit of information. I shall have I shall have to go find myself first thing tomorrow to get an adorable case of my own liking. Forgive me, I seem to have gotten a little carried away with this small talk. Small talk. As this class known as Home Economics near the end, I offer these final words to you have been honing everyday life skills with me. My field of study is not so decisive as the likes of mathematics, for instance, where test scores play, might play a part in deciding the future. However, as you go on to cook for yourselves, to take care of your Pokemon, to decide what to wear in the morning when you awaken, I would be honored if what I have taught you serves to smoothen out and enrich your life, even if only a little. The sentiment was imparted to me by Mr. Hassel and his particular outlook on such matters. Thank you all from the bottom of my heart for seeing this class through the end. Our time together has come to a close for today. Prepare to do your best on our final day. Alright, that's all the classes complete. I have one more thing to do before I can finish the classes. That is the final exam for Comic Con. And then I'll be a free man. Alright, home at final. Yes. I'm just gonna sit here for a second until we get to 25 minutes of recording. And then we can get this shit started.
Bro, why did the Psyduck and the Gengar keep switching? Like, right now it was a Psyduck. Before, it was a Gengar. Alright, let's go. 25 minutes of recording, and we're going into the finals. Let's see. I don't think it's gonna take me 5 minutes to do the final. In case it does. The time has come to test how well you all have learned in my class. Let's begin before the information simmering in your brains from a last minute cram session fades. Which of the following meal powers makes it easier to come across shining Pokemon? Sparkling power. Power. Which of the following is not an effect of egg power? It, it helps hatch strong Pokemon. What is a simple yet important tactic for increasing the effectiveness of meal power? Uh, make food with others. What is the correct action to take when your adorable Pokemon become dirty? Pokemon Watch. What is a question about Academy Rules? Should you change? This is a question about Academy Rules. Should you change your uniform tops and bottoms to properly match each season? It doesn't matter. The time for answering questions has come to an end. Please stop writing. I made the questions a little easier than I planned to as a way of saving saying thank you for informing me about Rokon phone cases. I trust that you all gave this exam everything you had so that you will not have to retake it. Please remember to ask for your scores at the front desk before leaving for the day. Feels great to get a test out of the way, doesn't it? Let's take a look at your results. You must get three questions correct to pass the midterm exam and four questions correct to pass the final exam. Let's see how you did on your home economics test. You answered five out of five questions correctly. Pretty sure that last question they gave you was like a freebie. Because it was just asking you a question about school rules. So I'm pretty sure that last question was a freebie. So you should have at least gotten one question correct. Not to mention... That, that first question about sparkling power, you should have gotten that e easily. Like, unless you've never played this game before, never used a sparkling power sandwich, and never watched a YouTube video on this game in your life, you should know that sparkling power is what gives you the ability to get find shiny Pokemon easy with uh, sandwiches. That's a passing score, congratulations. Mr. Saguaro asked us to give this reward to any student who passed the exam. Oh yeah. You have now finished all of your classes and passed all of their exams. I have this for you from Director Clavel. Oh hell yeah! Now you can focus all of your efforts on this year's treasure hunt. Be careful. You already know what's about to happen with this shit. They gave me XP candy largest for Finally finishing the damn class? Hell yeah. Okay, well I'm not giving that guy any of the large Huh. I'm not giving you a large Yeah. You know what, fuck it. Classes are done, so I'm leaving the school. <sighs> However, for right now, oh, da 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 da. Fate? Eddie? There's something I want to talk to you about. Could you come meet me in front of the school stairs? You know, where we first met? I'll be waiting. Isn't that where I am? You know what? I just completed the classes. Getting the, uh, I think this is something to do with the, uh, what's it called? The Starfall Street, the Starfall Street quest. I think this is gonna finish it off. So let's go deal with that. Right, Penny! Let's finish off the, uh, Starfall Street quest. Or at least I think this will. 
Damn. Hasta la vista. <laughs> the six of us thought up that catchphrase back when we created the team. It's so cringy, it's perfect, you know? Anyway, about the LP thing. Thought I was going down big time for hacking the weak point system, but they're letting me off easy. What happened? The Pokemon League said they'll waive my debt if I do some volunteer engineering for them. They even asked me to come work for them after I graduate, if you can believe that. Director Clavel and that Gita lady kept complimenting me, like a weird amount. Apparently I have outstanding talent or something. Sorry for calling you out here if you meet like this. I'm, I'm still not so great with people face to face. I never seem to find the right words, but um... So thank you so much. You saved Team Star and my friends along with it. I know words won't ever be enough to properly thank you for what, for all you've done, so be it. Drake on me, damn. As is a flying cup just passing by. What the fuck was that? I'm sure you'll put this to good use. There's one more thing. I want to repay the debt I owe you. If you ever think of a way I can do that, just let me know. I'm great with machines and hacking and stuff. Just give me some XP candies and I'm good. Especially the largest, extra largest. So next time I'll be the one helping you, Fate. Be seeing you then. Hasta la vista. Hasta la vista, Penny. Starfall Street. Finally completed. Let's go. That's two of the three storylines completed now. That's literally all I needed to do is walk out of there and talk to her. Alright, well. On that note, even though I usually like to do videos for Pokemon Scarlet an hour long, all of the uh, school stuff, I've been uh, doing it to 30 minutes, and it's 32 minutes now. So I'm going to end the video off here, guys. So if you like what you saw, please leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss an upload. If you want to check out my other socials, go to the about section of the channel. Or to the description of this video and all my other videos. With that all being said, my name is Fate. This has been episode 33 of Pokemon Scarlet. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Where it's actually going to be an hour long. And I'm actually going to be out there level grinding and doing stuff like that. And I'll see you guys then. Bye guys.